Life is a series of doing a thing and then sometimes it not doing the thing that you want it to do and then sometimes it does that thing and you're like, you did the thing I wanted you to do and you're like, that was why I did that thing that then you would do zombies uh hey hi ho and howdy everyone my name is channel shook and welcome yet again to another episode of gotta be honest folks i don't think i'm making the team after that fucking winning shot um anyway point is uh, another episode of zombie land saga that's right folks there's zombies there's land and it is a saga both the land and, like, as, like, a, a saga as in, like, it is a story to be told. Um, anyway, folks, we're here for episode three of that thing that I just said. And you may be saying, Shannon, oh my god, I can't put up with another episode of this. This absolutely scandalous betrayal through which we have been betrayed. Which is why we said the betrayal thing. And I'd be like, hey, is it because I disappeared for a month? Or uh, because of the other thing where... Crunchyroll was a rude bastard to me. Um, either way, I'm here now, so don't worry about it. Just pretend it didn't happen. Pretend I didn't vomit everywhere and get really sad. Um, anyway. And hot. It's very warm. That's what happens when you're this beautiful. Anyway, point is, um, yeah, am I recording? <clears throat> anyway, fucking, yeah. Uh, so I disappeared for a month, but that's not the point. The other point is the Crunchyroll thing that I said. Uh, yeah, so if you guys were paying attention in the previous, uh, I would say both episodes, but the the second one, big time, uh, you will have noticed uh, there was a small issue with regards to the one thing I didn't want there to be an issue with, uh, <laughs> which was the rap battle. <laughs> it's like one of the only things I knew about going into the show, and I was like, ah, I can't wait for that to be dubbed. Or at least have subtitles. Neither. It has neither of those things that I said. Cool. That's fun. I love that for me specifically. Um, anyway, so we fucking... We, we watched the episode and it was a struggle. But that's okay because we went back and watched it in the other way. Which was to watch it normally but with subs. Which was fine. Which then I proceeded to go watch the dub version afterwards on YouTube. Which was fucking amazing. God damn it, Crunchyroll. Why would you... Wouldn't you disconnected me, you motherfucker? Um, anyway. How dare you? God damn it. You actually thought it was okay to make it so that I couldn't hear the dulcet tones of one Brina Palencia drop the firest of bars? For what reason? For, for what purpose? For what reason? Tell me, Crunchyroll. Tell me. It was bad when you wouldn't tell me what the goddamn Jabberwock was fucking saying in the ruby of it all. And we're like, what the fuck is this little weird gremlin freak talking about the whole time, fucking... They fucking retreats. And no one can tell what the fuck he's saying. And that was bad. And it was worse when you did a heckin' rap. And you didn't give me the subtitles. And you didn't give me the goodness of the Brina of it all. What was the line that she says? What is it? What is it? Because it was fucking lit. And I'm mad that you removed it from my viewerdom. My entertainment sphere of which I observe. I have it written down. Because it was that good. All right, it was Tweedle Fortune and Tweedle Fame. That was the line. And you're a rude bastard. Anyway, point is... Crunchyroll did us dirty, and so we will not be fucking around with that for this show specifically, okay? This is why we have physical releases. This is why we have Blu-rays. This is why we have shit like that, so we are not so rudely having our goodness stolen from us, our joy, our hope, our wonderment, our Brina Palencia. Um, anyway, long story fucking short... Uh, still watching the dub, folks. However, we're watching the dub that's actually fucking dubbed. Um, yeah, so I went and double-checked to make sure the, the, the stuff we were working with now does actually have it. 
That was a month and a half ago. Don't remember if it does. Pretty sure it does. Otherwise, I would have had to, like, jump off a bridge. Anyway, but we didn't, so... But but I did not do that, so I'm assuming we're golden. If that ever happens again in the show. But I bet you it doesn't, just to, just to fuck with me specifically. Um, Yeah, so we shouldn't have too much of an issue. Also, uh, because we are doing things a little differently, I am going to throw some subtitles on there. They're not going to match perfectly with, obviously, what's being said in the dub, but it'll get you the same general gist. Um, hopefully, it'll work right i don't fucking know i don't know what anything is anymore dude my life is a series of tragedies and missteps but that's okay because sakura is a lovely zombie bean and i would like to see more of her um yeah so anyway get that all out of the way the only other thing is again i do want to apologize for disappearing for a month uh again basically i got sick uh other stuff came up uh wanted to prioritize gwitch uh it's really fucking hot in here. Um, stuff like that. So, but it's okay. We, we, we've dealt with it now and we're here. We're back. We're moving and grooving once more into the wonderment and joy of everything that is zombies doing a big heck and sing song and or a big swoosh back and forth with the head would that makes a horrible, horrible sound effect. I despise it greatly, mostly on the count of it sounds like me doing this repeatedly and no one likes that it's awful can you hear it i can hear it and also feel it in my hands and it's bad but that was their necks um and um we're gonna go ahead and get started here with episode three but for realsies this time instead of like half and halfing it like the previous episode i was, I was so Crunchyroll is just such a thing sometimes, man. It's really, it's problematic. Again, it's a fucking user issue. Like, it's an accessibility issue. You gotta, you gotta come through, guys. What are you doing? How hard would it have been to just reload the goddamn episode with the added dub part? Or, just fucking subtitle that section. That's the only part. I know you can do it because you subtitled other things in the episode. Anyway, so we're just going to go ahead and... <laughs> Again, I understand that that is time-consuming. Fully understand that. However, also, it's been eight years. Um, I don't know how long it's been, but it's been long enough. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started here. Zombie Land Talk episode. Th what the fuck happened last time? Rap battle. We established that. Anyway, it's hot in here. And anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started here with episode three of Zombie Land Saga in three, two, one, go. It's going to be great. Oh my god, last time. See, she, she fucking Brina's got this. I don't need to say anything. Also,. I swear to God, if you don't put her back as Holo, I'm going to lose my entire mind. They're, they're bringing back the fucking JP voice actors. If it's Hi, you weird bastard. Get your face away from this face. Remove the face from the face. Protect the tiny bean. I mean, I'm pretty sure you're exclusively blunt. How's the brain still doing there, Bean? You doing okay? I respect... Proper zombieing. Stop. <laughs> Please don't ever do that again. No, get cocky. She's great. I believe in her. Okay, yeah, your brain's looking about the same way we left you a month ago.
you want to you want to keep going That's <laughs> great. Let me couldn't spell girl. <laughs> to be fair, I'm the kind of dumbass who would who would fuck that up too. I fuck up guard constantly. I always get it wrong the first time and have to adjust every time. Dude, it, boat you got by with it. I'm sure you have this. I mean, maybe. Damn. I feel like there's a... There's a... Damn. Fuck, man. Shit. Harsh. Oh my god, get out, help this poor brainless fool. Did, wait, wait, what's the... I wouldn't have known because Crunchyroll wouldn't have done it for me. <gasps> they dubbed the OP? Have I been missing out on this the whole time too? Jesus Christ, Crunchyroll, what are you doing? I'm judging you so harshly. Someone has to stop this man. He's... A menace to society. I cannot express my disappointment in his very existence. Motherfuckers, you guys didn't even tell me about this. What the fuck? Because we definitely had an OP in the second episode, if not the first. Son of a bitch. Hello. Get that shit. All right, calm down. I mean, Sakura's right there. She's always putting in the work. Damn. I feel like that's a bad idea. Don't do it. Don't do it. Cease. Where'd you, were you getting the engine sound effects? Is that a zombie superpower I'm not aware of? Just living her best death over there. It's great. I mean, I, f I feel like it's not going to... I don't... I don't think that's accurate.
Also, I don't understand what the connection would have been. She's she's just she's she's doing her thing, okay? She's gonna pull something genius out of I mean she's dead. It's not real I We've gotta do something about her, right? Well, damn. All right, how how's the shower situation work for y'all? I I roll with it. Fuck it. Why are we leaning so heavily into the France of it all? We oui, we. Oui? You don't get anything. You don't... I mean, you... You have a very op... Optimistic... I should... 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 Hey man, roll with it. I just do your thing. I mean, it sound it does sound like an adorable dog's name, like you would just name a little Pomeranian, a French poodle. That's like 80% of the thing. You guys are already nailing this. Who needs that that last 20% of like the actual music and stuff? She is awfully mobile. Gonna, just gotta put her on a on a on an activity, and she she just goes to town with it. I'm gonna get dizzy here in a minute. <laughs> Who knew zombies could fly? Truly the most majestic of mythical cr- You still gonna have a face when you turn around? Damn. You God damn. The sound of my death. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> Fucking idiots. <laughs> mm. Not wrong. Girl, how are you holding that? Getting fucking thrown around and slapped the shit out of? You do my girl like that. pretty good line i don't mean to credit this man too much because he's a fucking menace to society but it's a good line it's true ichigo um It was a Predator game like that. It was, it was pretty all right. I enjoyed it a lot as a kid. It's probably not great for kids. I count all the spine and skull ripping out. But, you know, it was... See, the enthusiasm is being kept up at all times. Come on, queens. Y'all got this. Got this. I believes in you. Again, for being just completely fucking brain dead, Homegirl's pretty good at maintaining her motor functions. I wasn't expecting the 3D. Make it work. Oh, this was such a better... Crunchyroll, you motherfuckers, and you non-dub giving me ass fucking versions of stuff. But you know, you wouldn't give me the goddamn subtitles, you motherfucker. I'm sorry. <laughs> God 
God damn it. <laughs> it's okay. We got it now. We've overcome. It took us three episodes, but we're here. Oh, she's flumped. Get in. Save the day. It's okay, Bean. Make it work. You just gotta pick yourself back up. Aw, oh, shit. Improv. Ad-lib. There you are. There you go. Squad. You know, I, I do really, I like they took the time to, to get everyone in on it. Because again, that's one of those things that like, it's really interesting when you see which shows decide to go all in on that or who keep the that's all you need you just need one um in which keep it with the ogs and stuff i think there's a huge amount of value in both strategies but um i really do love it when dub teams get a chance to shine on that Anyway, also it's really again it's really interesting when you get uh, a really notable extended 3D sequence like that because like again don't worry it's not fucking like Ruby quality or anything but like it's it it is nice to see because I do I do want to see 3D stuff you know get a chance to shine more again I'm a Ruby fan I I'm I'm more than used to and a fan of that I also really like Land of Lustrous and stuff but so it's something I do want to see continue uh growing this piece and being taken seriously so she's just living her best life take care precious little little potato all you need is the one man sir 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 would you would you I was going to say, is this the same dingus? It's been a month, I can't remember. <laughs> okay, so... I mentioned... W <laughs> I'd seen one or two scenes from the show that made me were like, I, I definitely want to check the dub out. That was one of them. <laughs> that was homeboy oh just fucking losing his shit. <sighs> Hell yeah. What's up, beans? Came through when you needed it. Again, I really like homegirl's bandage situation. It's a good look. It's a good part of her design. Yeah. 
We got like insert songs too? Shit. They went all out. I respect the hell out of that, man. Aw. Yeah, y'all killed it. Hell yeah. I do wonder who, uh... Wonder who they uh they they had working on uh the adaptation for the songs and such. I I I appre I appreciate your your discussions, Junko, but also I don't want you to spoil the next episode. I appreciate your conversation. You have a lovely voice. Anyway, um, you know I am genuinely curious about that. Um, who handled that? I wonder if it, if it is the same folks who just did the normal adaptation work or not. Um, hell, I know fucking Amelie's on the fucking squad and woman's fucking iconic for shit. Um, it sounded weird to say it like you know what I mean. Like homegirl is like so much of her shit has always been uh, you know doing the the English covers of shit on YouTube and stuff and being absolutely wonderful at it. Um, yeah, I don't even know where I would find that information, but it would be interesting to know. I, I'd be curious to find out. Um, but yeah, no, it was really great. Um, I, I'm happy to be back in, in the zombies of it all. Not in the zombie. That, oh no. Um, anyway, point is, uh, happy to be back with it and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Um, I'm very happy that I can actually experience what I was hoping to experience when I started the fucking show. Um, again, and like, I, I wasn't sure, especially after the previous episode, how, how consistent and common and to what extent we were going to experience certain things like, uh, what we got in the previous episode. Uh, and it was actually really nice. It was a really nice surprise jumping in here to see that. Oh yeah, no, they got, not only did they got like, obviously all of the like performances apparently dubbed, they got the insert subs, the insert songs fucking dubbed, like the song that was playing at the end was also sung by everybody as well, which was a nice surprise. And the fucking OP, which I wasn't expecting at all. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's again, I, <laughs> I'm sure a lot of other people don't give a shit about this sort of thing or hell you guys are I'm sure a decent amount of you are watching the sub and have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, but, like, I don't know, this sh sort of shit, both, uh, like, as a VA myself and just a, an appreciator of this sort of thing, um, it's it's really cool when you get to see stuff like that. Um, I, I really appreciate when when you see someone go that extra mile. Like, again, I'm genuinely trying to think, like, the only other dub I can think of that I've personally experienced that did anything similar really was was, like, My Bride is a Mermaid. And that was, like literally just lunarian like that was that was it was it was there is there any other song she has two different songs doesn't she lunar that they do right am i fucking crazy um and obviously that was wonderful because it's the share of me all up in my fucking ears my faves my bestie my super i don't i shouldn't say bestie she doesn't know i exist but if she did she would be profoundly disappointed um but uh yeah no um Right, she had another song that was like a whole other thing, but I don't remember the fucking what it, what it was. Point, her and son sang it or some shit. I don't fucking remember. Point is, uh, it was really nice uh, to see, and again, that's really I think the only real time I can think of uh, that I that I actually got to see that happen in a show. Um, again, especially when I think about other things like K on, for example, which totally doesn't do that. Um, still has VAs that are very, very similar. Like, you could totally see fucking Christina V singing 
fucking Mio's parts in those songs, but they just didn't do that. Um, it, piano, it's just it's it's stuff like that. It I really appreciate getting to see that both because I think it's it's really it, it's really good for getting um, again dub actors to get a little bit more of the respect that I think they deserve that they don't often get. Again, I literally was just yelling about shit and fucking. Uh, Spy Family earlier uh, about, you know, again, I didn't finish watching Oshinoko at all or anything. I dropped it fairly early on, but it seems like people really enjoyed that show, obviously. And uh, then the then the dub started coming out for it and people decided to be uh, thunder twats, basically, um, d- despite the fact that I'm pretty sure, again, there's an entire like episode arc thing character thing or whatever the fuck in that show that's about how doing that is incredibly shitty horrible and awful and it ends terribly for people so don't do it and then they did it because they're fucking morons um they like oshinoko anyway uh (laughs) sorry um but like that was you know that was kind of the point there um i was literally talking about that earlier I, i i still think there's a lot of people uh, who still to this day, and it's crazy to me, that have such a fucking, for lack of a better term, completely and utterly dumbass fucking view of things like dubs and stuff like that. And it's really frustrating, uh, both as just a fan of that in general and as someone who has had experience in that field and knows how fucking hard it is. And that's coming from someone who hasn't done much in the way of anything substantial or legitimate, but just... Yeah, it's just, it's, it's, I like getting to see it, I I like getting to see it given the love it properly deserves, um, and yeah, it's, it's really cool to see, and again, it's just not something I get to see very often, so, uh, I genuinely went in expecting, like, maybe the only thing you would get from that is the rap scene, very specifically because it's, it's its own specific sort of you know, funny comedy bit where you can kind of do more of a talky sort of thing, but actually getting the full sing song versions of shit is great. Um, I love that. And again, I also like the, uh, the inclusion of 3d. That's another thing that I, in, in a similar vein, I think people have a really, they have a really, um, what is the, what is the word I'm specifically looking for? Um, fuck. There's a specific word I'm trying to look for that isn't a dumbass view. Um, fuck, it's escaping me. Point is, they they, they don't really have a great uh, you know impression of it, and and don't ever are, are very often not willing to give it uh, the time of day. Again, that's both a thing that I've noticed in general uh, with with shows, and uh, you know, especially again, I'm a fucking Ruby fan. I had to hear this shit constantly. Um, and like, again, I, I don't necessarily think the, 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 the visuals for this are quite comparable to, uh, to like where Ruby is now, for example, uh, or even, even quite to where like, uh, again, a, an orange show might be with, you know, Land Illustrious or, uh, fucking the one that came out recently that means they won't keep that will keep fucking doing that and not give me my rock women, um, men, women, people, rock people, fuck, um, anyway, uh, Trigun or whatever the fuck, uh, cause you can do some genuinely extraordinary shit, uh, with, with, uh, 3D CG animation and the stuff, and the like, um, and I, and I get, like, a, a, a cert, to a certain extent, one of the reasons why, uh, people do have a more limited, appreciation for it is due to a lot of the time it it being used specifically in in specific instances to you know save on the budget in certain areas or to um to kind of fill in gaps a lot of times like you like backgrounds and stuff like that um but yeah it's it's one of those things where like when it when it does show up and come in and kind of take center stage, it, it, it can be nice to see it get some appreciation and love uh, where it is deserved, because it is a, a completely valid and, um, I think, very valuable um, art form as much as anything else. Okay. Um, again, I'm, st- I'm personally not as, obviously, again, I'm a Ruby fan. I'm not personally as big a fan of the 
the lowered frame rate style, the the style where it's specifically trying to, um, you know, a bit more adhere to what you would traditionally see from animation more like what we have going on normally in the show. Uh, and that's that's why they do that, uh, to try and kind of mimic that, but in a 3D style. And like, again, Land of Lustrous does that as well. Um, and while it's, it's just not my preferred style, it still totally works and is, you know, compelling. And I fully understand why they do it. It's just not my particular go-to. I, I more prefer the smoothness of, of a ruby and stuff like that. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. It's just, I think those things are interesting. And this entire conversation that we've had here today has literally had nothing to do with the actual plot of the episode uh, and has been exclusively about uh, things that half the audience might not even have heard <laughs> and the other half doesn't give a shit about. So it's great. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I just I think these things are interesting. Again, I, I like art. I like people doing cool, fun, creative shit. So I like it when people do stuff with them um anyway ladies and gentlemen that was episode three of uh the zombies of it all uh, i hope you guys enjoyed uh i'm definitely looking forward to seeing what else we have to go as we go uh i'm looking forward to seeing potentially more shit that i wasn't necessarily expecting going in like um potentially 3d stuff as we go on if there's other performances that are handled like that because uh, i don't remember that being a thing I don't remember that being a thing in the first episode. Though, to be fair, it wasn't much of a performance. It was mostly them just shaking their heads like fucking lunatics and making that horrendous noise. Um, but, uh, you know, it was that. And, um, again, I, I I was pleasantly surprised by the uh, actual amount of dubbed songs in this. So I'm very curious to see more of that as we go. Uh, and, again, if anyone does have information, uh, I don't know where you would find it necessarily because, you know credits and, and stuff like this is never really helpful in regards to uh you know adaptation and dub work a lot of the time um but i would be very curious to, to know the, the the team responsible for the the lyrical adaptation specifically um shit's interesting to me um anyway i think i'm gonna go ahead and end it there i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did go ahead and give it some love uh thank you for holding out for the first two episodes of absolute fuckery and uh through the month of me disappearing you know shit happens um but it's okay we we got it now and i hope you guys are as excited as i am to experience more uh until then though i will see you all next week for even more zombies um yeah it's very warm in here my brain is on fire i don't like that much it's rude um but yeah we're gonna go ahead and end it there um heads up for a uh, new show stuff starting again uh g which will have wrapped last week so in a perfect world um we will have already started something here uh along this week with the rest of uh the shows that you're watching currently uh i guess it would have been if i've done it right it should come out the day before this um i still have to decide which i'm doing and how i'm gonna handle it um but you know if something happened that's when it happened um so yeah there'll be that there um and Spy Family will be wrapping up over the next couple days uh, with its first core of Season 1. Uh, and we'll be hopping on to whatever the other thing is that I decided to do. So, yeah! Uh, until then, uh, thanks again for waiting and for holding out for me, guys. I will see you all in the next episode. Whenever that happens to be, again, should be next week. Um, okay, goodbye. Farewell. Avita Zane. I like homegirls little bandagey dudes. Did I say that before? It's not a very good example because you also can't see it right now, but it's it's the it's the it's the shot of her just staring directly into my eyes. How you doing, Bean? Um But she's also all maked up maked up, so it doesn't really work. The thing that I've said. Fuck. Anyway, bye guys. <laughs> Can we tell again it's hot in here, I got melt brain. Anyway, bye. <laughs>